welcome back, sweet, sweet souls. My head seems to not be 100% on the cameras. I might have got the angle a little bit dodgy. Um, I hope you're good. So today we are going to do, let me look at my notes, trying to fit the readings. What do they want from you? What do they want from you? So an overall reading for you all, a collective reading of that energy. Now, before we go into it, I've just got some, uh, I don't know, public service announcements, I'm going to call it. Um, so if you go on to Facebook, Mystic Love Tarot, if you go on there, and also I wrote it in the community on Mystic Love Tarot, I did a podcast back in 2020, um, and this podcast was all about me, my life, spirit, how I got to be, where I am, why I do what I do, um, all about my family. And if you're interested in the real me, um, it's it's worth listening to for an hour. The interviewer, he's really, really good. Um, and he's Irish. So if you like an Irish accent, he his, his accent is absolutely beautiful. Um, <laughs> on a side note. But yeah, so that got released. I put that up the other day. Um, like I said, you can find it on the Facebook Mr. Love Tarot. I've posted it on Instagram, but I can't, I don't get Instagram at all. Um, I put the link on there, but you'd have to copy and paste it because I don't understand it. Um, but I also put it in the YouTube community. So go and have a listen, see what you think. Um, the other thing I need to tell you is obviously Christmas is approaching. If you haven't seen my little pink and my little uh, sparkly, it's cute in it, sparkly black and silver Christmas tree and the fairies come to join us. We love the fae, don't we? So the fairies come to join us as well. Christmas is coming. I have got limited spaces left. So if you do want a video reading, um, during that Christmas period, let me know. Um, I'm planning on having a few days off, obviously, to spend with my family. My partner is off work as well, so we are gonna spend some time as a little family. So um, lit spaces are really, really limited. So if you want a reading before, kind of probably before the new year, um, please drop me a message ASAP, um, Mr. Love Tarot at gmail.com. Or, um, yeah, or you can DM me on Instagram or Facebook as well. Okay, so let's go. So we are going to do what do they want from you. Now the two decks that I've picked, or that Spirit got us to pick, are very, very strong decks. I picked up two lighter decks to begin with, and then Spirit were like, no, you need very strong masculine energy. Um, now, as you know, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but decks often have an energy with them. Um, and these two decks that I picked up are masculine energy decks. I have a beautiful, beautiful deck called uh, Orion's Tarot, which is animals, and that's got a very childlike energy to it. Um, I have a lot of female decks, and the two decks I picked up to begin with were this female energy. Um, but these two, Spirit saying with it being a, a powerful reading of what do they want, we're getting into that Emperor vibe, for those of you that read Tower, Tower? Tarot? <laughs> I hope that's not a, a, a psychic slip. For those of you that read tarot, um, we're going into that emperor vibe. We're going into the powerful energy between you guys today. So we're going into that what do they want. Very strong minded. Let's go. Deck number one, deck number two, Arisha's tarot and the slow tarot, I think it's called. Okay, let's go. Deck number one. So let's just turn that around. That shouldn't have been that way. Let's go. So you know it works on the collective energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. I've just lit some um, incense over here. Now I have, rather than this, this I do use incense sticks, um, but I have a vaporizer, um, not the ones that you vape vape, but for the incenses. It's quite filthy actually. It probably needs a very good clean from Glastonbury years and years ago. And the smells, you, you put the incense in it on sand um, and it comes up through the top. It's absolutely delicious. And I've just put in Holy, for, uh, Holy Thorn. Um, as those of you know that I'm a druid, the oak and ash and thorn are through very, very sacred trees to us. And it felt like this sacred energy needed to be put in today's reading. So, and it smells really good. <laughs> What do they want from you? What does your person want from you? Let's see what spirits say, see what the cards say. Okay. Okay, so as this card jumped out, I got, um, those of you that know that I am Claire Audient, I hear spirit uh, very, very clearly, and it works kind of a bit like a radio channel. So what happened then was, as we tuned into the energy, I got three songs um, all in a row. Now, one of them was definitely Jason Derulo, um, 
don't want to go i think that was jason derulo there was definitely a jason derulo one and it was don't want to go home um that energy really sitting forward uh with you guys there's actually quite a few jason derulo songs if we get into the energy of this because they are giving me a bunch of songs the other one um that come through was country road take me home so you've got two songs very deliberately coming through through my right ear from spirit um about home which is really interesting because when we're asking what do they want and the first energy that comes forward is that of a home environment that says that this is something that they want to build and stabilise between the two of you. The card that jumped out was uh, the two of pants for those of you that are interested. Which wouldn't normally signify a home environment but with spirit talking that way. What do they want? Do I love this deck, they're so beautiful. Three, four, five. Let me just get one more. Ah, so it was a psychic slip. So when I said tower at the start rather than tarot, as you know, a thousand people are talking to me all at well, not a thousand, that's a bit extreme, but a lot of people are talking to me at the same time that I'm talking to you. And sometimes my words can get quite muddled as spirit really strongly step into that energy. Now What's happening as I'm looking at these cards as a whole of what do they want from you, you guys have not had the answers or they haven't communicated how they're feeling or what's actually going on. There is a lot of stuff that is happening with the connection between you and your person under the surface as above, so below spirit coming forward. And the card that jumped out when I'm, you know, I said the psychic slip of tarot and tower, you got the tower jumping out with the hierophant. So what's currently happening with your person is even though you feel like not much is happening with the two of pence, stuff is going on beneath your surface and your person spirit is saying is having a very clear breakthrough on the connection between the two of you. And with, with them giving songs about home at the start, I don't want to go home and take me home country road, saying that they can see this relationship um, going into a future with you and building that establishment, building that home connection. That is what they want. But there is a road to get there and that is kind of a take me home country road so they can see further down the line that they can have a future with you but at the moment they're kind of playing for time and being silly buggers now the reason why the tower and the hierophant or hierophant are jumping out together is because your person is going to have a realization over the connection with you and this is what's going to make them the knight of wands over here make them make these moves towards you so the knight of wands stepping in i thought it was knight of swords but it is knight of wands um, stepping in for movement coming towards you yes this is the card where they might be playing for time they might be not telling you how they're feeling not telling you about their emotions very sexually driven energy between the two of you this tower has to happen for them to get out of this knight of wands energy so what's going to cause the tower those of you that don't know what a tower is i, I try and explain it in the videos but it depends if you just tapped in tuned on tuned in turned on the tower is when things fall apart around you you can either have big t towers which are kind of like the divorces the passings the 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 heavy heavy energy those are the big t's the little t's are things like arguments things not quite going to plan um you know so you have big t towers or little t towers sometimes big t towers are losing friends you know all that kind of sense of uh energy there so what's happening is your person's going to have this wake-up call um and they're going to step out of this night of one's energy but what's going to cause that wake-up call let's have a look what will cause the wake-up call between them what will cause the wake-up call nine of cups so they're going to have a realization that they have these feelings for you and the two of swords keep staring at me in the face so we're going to take this one as well so two and a two over here two to two always symbolizing relationships building strength growing if you ever see two to twos hanging around and you're waiting for contact that will be a signal that your person is going to be reaching out to you so this state of indecision indecision they are going to have a breakthrough from that and this is when they're going to have the realization with the nine of cups that you are what they want you are who they want to be with is there anything dramatic that's going to cause that breakup yeah we know that the tower is going to hit when i'm asking what kind of tower it just says about them discovering the truth so they're going to have a really strong realization that they that they want to be with you um let's see a bit more about the tower 
that perhaps they felt that you have been drifting away from them, that you, um, they haven't given you what you want, so they haven't given you what you want. Yeah, yeah, you guys watching, they haven't given you what you want. They feel you pulling away from them, and that is what's going to cause this immediate spirit saying action and effect. Okay, so the two cards jumping out there, Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. So this is, you know, the slow movement that they, they are giving you, you kind of blasting them off and saying, no, you know what, um, you meet up to my terms or I'm not going to meet up to yours because you're not giving me what I want. That's going to make them have these towers and these eruptions and that's when they make these moves towards you. Um, now, your person might handle the situation perhaps a little bit iffy and um, they might come towards you and be a little bit more sexual than emotional and um, if that happens do bear in mind that your person actually um reacts better when conversations aren't quite so serious so they will allow you into the heart when they feel at a place that is at peace rather than being pushed into talking about their emotions if you try to talk to your person about how they are feeling you've probably been met with a bit of a brick wall they don't want to appear vulnerable um, and it takes a while for them to talk and open up about emotions. Um, so by you kind of taking a step back and letting them go go their own way for, for a little while, do their own thing, so to speak, that's what's going to make them break up the cycle and have a tower, think that you're moving on, moving forward. And that's when they jump back to you and say, OK, let's build this home. Um, the other cars jumping jumping out as well you've got the four of pence and you've got the wheel of fortune so you've got them hanging on to a situation and cycles breaking okay a cycle breaking things turning into your favor but it's not yet with the four of pence it's not yet you're gonna have to hold on a little while longer um and that's when this breakthrough will happen. Spirit saying really clearly, it's in the silence that that is when we have the biggest breakthroughs. And those of you that um, have been on my Instagram or the, the Facebook a while back, I posted a picture. Um, I was out in nature, um, as always. I was out in the woods, and as I was staring at the woods, there was a tree that absolutely replicated the Hanged Man tarot card. And that was when I had the biggest realization I've ever had about that card. Um, and I thought, right, it's in these moments of solace, in silence, that you have breakthroughs. That is what the card means. But it actually was it in that place that I fully saw it emerging around me and when you zoom in on the tree you can actually see the tree spirits that are in it there's loads of different faces in the tree and i've been there a thousand times before and i had never seen that tree and this is where the breakthroughs happen okay so silence reflection solace all of that energy will make your person realize that they, they want this more than perhaps at the moment they think they do. They could be a little bit freaked out, a bit like they don't want to be vulnerable, as I said at the start. Um, and that's why they're probably, they're acting the way that they are. Um, so yes, what do they want? Well, in the longer term, they want to, uh, want to see where it goes and they want to build the home connection. At the moment, they're traveling on the way to home to be with you. Um, but they are playing for time at the moment because they don't want to let you into their heart. They're going to have a realisation when you pull away um, that you are what they want. And that's when they get the moves on and the grooves on to chase you down, hunt you down and get you. <laughs> and go, right, OK, yeah, don't want you to move on. Let's all be together. So if you need me, drop me a message, Mr. at gmail.com. If you tapped in at the end of the reading, um, my spaces are super limited between now and January. So if you want me, uh, do drop me a message and we can get you booked in ASAP. Okay, that's deck number one. Right, deck number two, let's go. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on to deck number two, at the start, I talked about a podcast that I did that is now up um, on the internet. So you can go and have a look at that. Uh, you can follow the links on Facebook or on the YouTube community. Um, and what else? Christmas bookings. I'm really limited uh, between now and January. So if you do need me, uh, Drop me a message, Mr. Lotaro, gmail.com. Right, let's see what's going on. What does your person want? What do they want from the relationship? Ooh, okay. So I'm just, as the first card come out over here, I got the song, uh, I, I want to say it was Katy Perry, Dominoes. They're like dominoes, dominoes, that one. So, it's like one domino has to drop for all the others to fall into place. What do they want? 
one in the connection. And the other song that's coming through my right ear, those of you that know me know that I am um, clear audience, so I hear spirit, but I, or, um, like as if we're having a normal conversation, but I also hear radio, like a radio. Um, it's like that muffle of white noise and then you'll hear different songs. Um, the, the other song that I had, and also if I don't say it at the point that it comes through, the song comes and it goes, just like you're just tuning in that radio dial and that radio frequency. Got it, thank you. The other song that I got was You Only Know You Love Her When You Let Her Go, which I want to say was a band called Passenger um, in my previous life before before um, when I was doing tarot readings locally um, and I had, a, I had a muggle job. I had a muggle job uh, working at a prison as a careers advisor that was my muggle job for those of you that are interested um <laughs> um that song come out there i remember listening to it on the radio um so it would be i would reckon about 2010 god that makes me feel really old <laughs> so about 2010 that song come out you only know you love her when you let her go but that's coming into your energy as well so dominoes you only know you love her when you let her go. Let's see what spirit, what the cards say. Now, your person does have very strong feelings, that does have very strong intimacy with you and feels a very strong dynamic of love. There are very, very deep rooted emotions here. Some of you guys are not together. This might, this isn't all of you, but some of you guys are not together because circumstances are dictating that. So that could be other people being involved in situations, families, um, maybe twin flame dynamics going on for a lot of you, age gaps, cultural issues. There's a bit of ickiness, icky stickiness with the connection. But what's really important is that you two know how much you do love each other. And I want to make that really, really clear. So if your person has pushed you away with the song, you only know you love her when you let her go. If they have pushed you away, do not fear. Your person does have very, very strong feelings for you. And even in a sense that they might have backed away rather than completely ghosted you or they've just, you know, you're sitting here thinking, well, what, what's actually going on? What's happening? The emotions are very, very real very very strong the white roses on this kind of symbolizing a need for forgiveness as well so it's whether it's forgiveness on your part or forgiveness on their part the love and the intimacy is very very strong between the two of you and i want to make that extremely clear before we go into the reading any further i really want to pinpoint that to you okay what do they want? There is a very weighted energy here. Like they feel like they've got the world on their shoulders. Um, and I just got with that as well. This is a, a, a this is a Church of England school. Um, <laughs> you got the whole world in his. He's got the whole world in his hands now. With that reflecting down onto your cards, that was a song we have to sing at school. He's got the whole world in his hands. Your person is feeling this very heavy energy at the moment. Like they have got the weight of the world in their hands. They're probably going through some of their own shit as well as a situation with you. Um, and you lot might be feeling this sense of betrayal. Your person might be feeling as if you are in control um, and that you've kind of gone, no, nope, you know, it's not quite working out. This isn't what I want at the moment because you're not giving me what I want. Or likewise, the energy mirroring on that. So you might feel that your person has acted that way. You might be feeling a sense of betrayal over here and um, that they've let you down. It's like you gave them your heart. You've allowed that vulnerability for you and you feel that your person has let you down. And that's why you're feeling very, very stuck and very confused. And I want you to know that your person is also feeling that. So we have a very strong mirroring energy going on, which would indicate that this is a higher dimensional relationship. Uh, twin flames, high vibrational soulmates, potentially quite a bit of karmic energy between you guys. And if you want a, a karmic clearing or a druid ceremony for helping to clear that karmic energy, you let me know. Um, and we can we can get cracking on that. It's like they also, or you, again, this might flip either way. You might feel that you've, you guys might feel that you haven't had the ability to speak your truth. I really feel that energy. Like you wanted to say what you're feeling, but you're very scared of your person pushing back, lashing out um, or upsetting you. 
Um, and so you, you've kind of limited what you've said and now you're stuck in that case of indecision, like what's actually happening with it. Now your person, like I said, they're feeling very burdened by the connection and a lot of you guys, it's circumstances of why this hasn't moved forward, it isn't because of the love. And that's, that almost is harder, you know, because when there is love, there is real, real love, real pure essence of it. And no matter what happens, what circumstances do, that love never dies, you know. And I've got another song with that. We had this a few weeks ago and it made me laugh because someone put, um, who ever decided to make Phantom of the Opera 2? And I completely agree with them. Uh, who did decide to make Phantom of the Opera 2? But there is a song in that that says love never dies. And that energy is coming forward with you guys. So the other card over the top I've got for you is the Queen of Swords. So this is your energy. This is your power energy. She doesn't take people's shirt, the Queen of Swords. She is on top of her game. She knows exactly what she wants. She won't shut her mouth. You know, she doesn't, she doesn't bite her tongue. And it, what's really interesting is right now the energy is of a tongue being bitten. But as time goes on, it's like you get into that power. You do a lot of self-love. You do a lot of looking after yourself, a lot of TLC, self-TLC. And that puts you in this Queen of Swords energy. And the connection for you will then transform which I find really, really interesting. So when we're looking at what do they want from you, we've got the world as well, sorry. We've got endings of cycles, beginnings of new ones. We've got burdens. We've got not being able to speak your truth and having a bit of self-love and time for you to be enabled to do that. We've got dominoes. So what happening, what, what they would like to happen. Your person doesn't want to make any decisions. They, they, they just don't. They don't want to make any choices in their life um, because they feel that if they have to make very strong choices, I mean, and I mean big, big choices, they've probably messed around all their life and not made many, much choices, a bit indecisive. But they, they know that if they start making very big choices, then they have to be held accountable. Um, and your person just isn't in a space to do that at the moment. So with the song Dominoes coming up at the start, it's like they, what the, your person wants is for kind of the control to be taken out of the hands and let things naturally unfurl. So they want the one domino to go at the start and then the next, 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 next. They don't really know what they want other than the fact that they are kind of leaving it into the hands of the universe. They're like, we will see where this goes. What they do know is that there is love that there is a very, very strong love. And in the longer term, with the world kind of coming up next to the Two of Cups, in the longer term, they can see that this can work out between you guys. They can see a future. Um, they can see cycles ending, beginnings of new cycles coming in. And we can see a manifestation of the love appearing between you guys um, as that kind of womb energy blasts out and creates. Okay, so creative energy coming in here as you're manifesting it. They can feel it. They can sense it. They know in the longer term that they want to be with you, but they don't know how to get there. And that's why they're letting the universe kind of do it. And that's probably why you're feeling a little bit like, oh, what's actually going on? Because they're not giving you those answers because they kind of don't know themselves. <sighs> yeah, tough, tough. Well, if you want to have a look at what What's going on in your individual lives and we can go into that into a little bit more detail just drop me a message mr love tarot at gmail.com uh, i love you all to pieces go check out that podcast and um, i think you'll really really enjoy it the people that have listened to it have said oh wow really really good um, and i really enjoyed it you know i i love it i'm a gemini obviously i'm a gemini with a sagittarius moon speaks speaks volumes doesn't it so um podcasts and things like that i absolutely love um and i love listening to them as well i love hearing about other people in their lives um and like i said the interview was really really good so it's, it's really in depth um and if you want to know the real me go have a listen you can follow the link on the community or facebook on the instagram you just have to copy and paste the link i think because i just still don't get instagram that really shows my age <laughs> I was like when I was at, at, at uni was when Facebook came out and uh and now I was like Instagram I have it for work I have it for work but I still don't I, I have it so you guys can DM me um but I, I still don't really get it it's just I just don't get it but then it took me a long time to get YouTube as well when I first started here I was like what am I doing uh, but now, you know, now it's just a breeze, isn't it? <laughs> All right, guys, I love you. See you soon. Ciao.